Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is GM and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is episode 113 in the Throwback Thursday series I'm doing using old makeup. Not oogie old, just not talked about old. And today's palette of choice is the Pat McGrath Labs Mega Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana. <laughs> it's the pink one or the dark pink one because I guess the lighter pink one was the first one. Anyway, I haven't used this in quite a while. I did check um, in my playlist because, you know, I have lots and lots and they're all done by brand pretty much. Then there's like new makeups and chatty videos, things like that. I don't know. If you're interested, take a reconnoitre. I think it's kind of fun. Um, anyway, I checked and I have used this several times. Uh, but I think because I want to use colors, I mean, I've used it so much that I think I've used every shade in this, but, um, the color combination I want to use today, I haven't done exactly. So that is my plan. The shade names are on the back and one of these is super loose. So let me see if I can show you without anything falling out. I want to use the red in the middle on the, like up here, as well as that shimmer shade next to it. And then the dark red, um, <laughs> two down closest to where the palette folds. Those are the shades I want to use. And if that darkest maroon red shade isn't dark enough, we've got a navy blue and a dark brown that we can use to darken everything. So. I probably will use the lighter shade in that same corner for my inner corner area, but we'll burn that bridge when we get there. I'm not entirely sure yet how I want to do it, but that's the idea. Reds and this coppery shipper shade. So hopefully you're into that. If you are, you're not subscribed. Nag, nag, nag. All right, I'm going to whack on some shadow shields, scoot you in and start playing eyeshadows. Shadow shields are on. Hopefully I have scooched you in. Real quick, I want to mention, if you're considering trying shadow shields, don't be afeard. First of all, if you mess up, you just wash it off. It's only makeup. And of course you can use butterscotch tape or makeup tape or washi tape, I think is what it's called, um, to do the same thing. And my eyes are hooded and 46. So on this eye, I get a bit that kind of hangs farther down than I do on this eye. So I apply the shadow shields or tape or whatever down a lot far farther than is what I see a lot of people do because of the wrinkles and the sagging for my eyes. So if you've tried this and you didn't like it because it looked wonky, uh, try adjusting the placement. You can make your eyes look and be as big or as small as you want. And I fake it. Like I bring my eyebrow out farther and in farther and I start my shadow shields down here and it just makes my eyes look a little bigger. So I just want to say that real quick in case you were thinking about playing with shadow shields. Okay, I'm going to take my Refer 13 in that darkest red like maroon shade and that's gonna go all out here i feel like this look is gonna be pretty darn simple just you know i'm only using a couple of shades and i don't know i don't think it has to be overly complicated for it to be pretty or cute or fun or what have you that is what some of my sunday videos are for doing the copy kitty videos because um, I like to play with makeup. I don't take it super seriously. So when I copy kitty a look, I can really kind of play more and just, I don't know, make mistakes and learn as I go. All right, I've got the red laid down and I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Obviously, I haven't blended anything yet, just 
put it on my eyes. But I think it's gonna work out. So I'm just gonna clean my brush off on my handy dandy little nano towel. I was cleaning up brushes this morning and thinking, this towel is amazing. I I don't love to cook bacon. I don't like being burned. I don't like the mess. And I usually cook bacon in a, like a stock pot, a big one. All right, I'm gonna go with light red shade now while I'm yammering at you about bacon. Um, I, I just, it's such a pain in the butt to clean up, you know, the whole shipping. But with these nano towels, you can literally just wet the towel and the bacon grease comes right up. Like, I don't know, it's kind of like magic. These little towels are amazing. I don't know if there are other brands that do the same thing. This the only I only have experience with the nano towels. But boy, howdy. It's, they're just so good for so many things. I really, really like them a lot. <laughs> I always have them linked in the description bar because I just love them. And... I don't know, when I love something, I want everyone else to experience it because it's so good. There are not a lot of things that I genuinely love. I'm not a things kind of girl. So something like this that is just so helpful, amazing. And for the record, I would never just clean up the baking grease and leave it. I would go over it with like a I'll go over the stove top with you know soap and water or a Clorox wipe, be something like that. But just the 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 act of getting the grease up, nano towel all day every day. All right, that's where the eyes are right now. I will go back in and blend some more. I just really want to play with this shimmer shade. So let me find a brush. I'm going to take my Singe Beauty E01 and go into that bottomest. <laughs> rightest shade. It's like a coppery red. And we're gonna go with it dry first. And you can see like this is a big mess out here. I'm not gonna waste my time or energy trying to blend that out because look the shimmer shade is gonna cover it up. So little tip for me to you. If it's not going to be shown, no bother. Blending is only important if you're gonna see it and if it matters to you. If you don't care about having a blend, that's cool. You do you, boo. <laughs> that is very, very pretty. I know you might be thinking, uh, Jan, it's like spring going into summer what you doing with a fall look it's not here we had less than a handful of nice days and it's gonna rain it's been raining it's gray like there's no sunshine i think the sun has abandoned new england i'm hoping it'll come out again at some point but if i'm being honest i'm not holding my breath okay this is where the eyes are right now. I'm going to go off camera and just blend and get the uh, eyes where I want them. You know, just fuss with it for a minute. I'll probably end up using some of my finishing powder just to blend the edges a little bit. There's nothing light enough in this palette that I can use. So I'm gonna do that, whack on the rest of my face. I'll come back, show you the finished look up close and personal, and then we can wrap this video up. All right, I'm back and the eye look is finished. Let me zoom you in for an up close reconnoida at the eyes. All right, I like this palette. It's Pat McGrath, what's not to like? I think we all know she's no longer at the helm and you know, maybe things aren't as great as they once were, but as far as these makeup palettes go, they're fantastic. I have all three. I really, really like all three of them. I have the purple, like six pan mini one, 
and I have the Bridgerton eyeshadow palette, but I've decluttered that. And that's it. I don't have any of the actual like motherships, uh, but I really like these mega palettes. So I'm definitely interested to hear if you have them, if you still pull them out and use them, if you still like them, or are you still purchasing Pat McGrath? I just, you know, I like chatting about makeups with you. But as far as the eye look goes, that's a done. And that is episode 113, done and dusted. I'm happy with the look. If you're wondering what else is on my face, I will tell you now. And if you don't care, hopefully I will see you in my next video. I used the Yummy Skin Water Powder Serum from Danessa Myricks as my, like, primer slash skincare. My foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in 2C3 Fresco. My concealer is the KVD Good Apple Concealer um, Light 109 might be the shade. Uh, my setting powder is the Too Faced Born This Way on my left side and the NJC on my right. I just wanted to compare them side by side, start getting my thoughts together around that. My contour is the Kevin Aqua, of course. My bronzer is the L'Oreal Infallible in 250 Light. What else? My finishing powder is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And check this out. I hit Pam. That's crazy. I keep doing that with my face powders. <laughs> my blush is the Unearthly Spring Magic. <clears throat> I just uploaded a video um, swatching these and trying them on my face. I went in first with Bellfire, yeah, Bellfire, and then I went along the edges and over it with Alchemy, because when I was putting it on, it it pulled almost purpley, the Bellfire, which I thought was incredibly strange, but you know, that's what it did. So I was able to mix it match, which is one of my favorite things. I just love playing with makeups. My highlight is Pat McGrath from the Bridgerton Collection in Sublime Skin Highlighter mm, Incandescent Gold 02, I believe. I thought about doing like Pat McGrath everything that I have, but I decided not to because I wanted to use the Unearthly Blush. And my lip is a bit of, it's a combination of several things. So let me just show you real quick what is on my yips. I lined them with the J-Cat lip liner in the shade Rosewood, which is just like a deep, cool brown. And then I went along the outer perimeter of my lips with the Pat McGrath uh, nude Awakening. It's a metallic-y lip liner, I mean lipstick, which I genuinely love. And on the center, I'm using my Stila Beso Shimmer because, you know, why not? Goes with the eyes. And then I topped that with the Juvia's Place lip gloss in Oasis. My, <laughs> my mascara is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black, and my lower waterline eyeliner is the Kaleidos. It's the like red, bronze, green, multi-chrome. And that is everything. So yeah, I'm excited to chat with you about the makeups. And that's the end of Throwback Thursday episode 113. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.